Okay, Google, play some royalty free music. Playing royalty free, just a stream on Spotify. biggest weakness um well I, I could never learn to unicycle <laughs> uh just kidding uh i um you know sometimes i find myself being too detail oriented really hmm. would that be why you gave me a uh, script instead of a resume um <laughs> whoops uh which one is that actually Invaders of the Piranha King. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that actually. Um, <laughs> here's my real resume. It says here you make YouTube videos. Yes. And that's all it says. Well, that's that's all I do. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, do you have any experience in making Excel sheets? When you say Excel. Are you asking if I excel at what I do? No, but I believe you just answered that for me. Look, you know, I, I may not be amazing at remembering everything, but I am phenomenal at Googling things I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. Do you work well with others? Can I get back to you on that, actually? Um, we'll come back to that one. Why do you want to work with us specifically? Well, <laughs> you see, uh, your business is one that I admire, especially in this sphere of corporateness and society. And, you know, seeing you guys on LinkedIn just really inspired me to uh, reach out to what you guys do. You know, like, the, and we're not really conducive to the work culture isn't conducive to productivity these days. And uh, your your business just really um, the the way you guys you don't know the name of our company, do you? Uh, uh, of course I do. Then what is it? You, you can't just put me on the spot like that. I mean. <laughs> wow. How did you even get through this application process? C can I get back to you on that too? You ask really hard questions. Oh, I ask some hard questions? Hmm, I'll tone them down, okay? What do you hate most about yourself? <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, it might be my indecision, but I actually, I don't know. Do you believe your life really has purpose, or do you just tell yourself that just to get by? Wow. Um, does that really pertain to what we're... Do you have any clue as to what you're doing with your life? Um, <laughs> yeah, doesn't everybody? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years, Adler? Hey, yes, I remember, I'm, yes, I made plans for our one year anniversary. Yeah, no, I don't forget a date, you know me. Um, also, what, what time did we say we're doing that? No, yeah, I mean, I knew that. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Well, yeah, well, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Love you. <laughs> Crap. Hi there, can I get a buffalo chicken pizza delivered to the park behind the Retro France coffee shop?
So, I was gonna get you some flowers, but I decided to one-up myself, and I got you a cactus. Nice! I hear they require a lot of maintenance. Actually, they don't. Uh, you only have to water them, like, once a month. I know, I was being sarcastic. Ah, I should have known. Also, I got you your favorite pizza. You're too sweet. So, how do you feel about this past year? I find the whole label of year to be very constraining and calendocentric. You know, I think calendars are really just man-made illusions to make us feel like we have control over time. You're ridiculous. No, think about it though. What's stopping me from saying that an hour consists of 24 minutes instead of 60? Literally everybody on the planet who would just say that you're dumb and move on with their lives? Well, they'd be moving on with less hours in the day. But seriously, how do you feel about this past year? Are you proud of what you've accomplished? See, why can I not be proud of the things I haven't accomplished? <laughs> oh yeah, like what? Well, okay, I haven't laundered any money. I haven't murdered any squirrels. <laughs> I haven't run over any old ladies. What about Mrs. McGill? She was not old, okay? She was 54 years young. And uh, besides, I don't, I don't like to dwell on the past. Then maybe you should start dwelling on the future. I feel like I've gotten more success out of letting life happen to me than just burdening myself with future plans. See, that's the problem. You can't call calendars constraining just because you don't know how to fill them in. Calendars are still an ancient tradition that I do not want getting the best of me. So what, you'd rather have the general concept of time get the best of you? It's better than 12 pieces of paper. All I'm saying is if you hold on to this attitude of letting life happen to you, then you're not going to have any say in who you become as a person. You have to be so accurate with your criticisms. I just don't want your potential to go to waste. It's like you have this awesome recipe for chocolate chip cookies, and sometimes you choose to make them. But other times, you just eat whatever mediocre Twinkie the world throws at you. You know what it is? I get all excited about my chocolate chip potential cookies, but then I think about preheating the oven. And for some stupid reason, I get overwhelmed with that 10 minutes of nothing happening. And then I give up. Great, now I'm just hungry. I need a slice of that barbecue chicken pizza. Uh, <laughs> you're hilarious. I know you like buffalo chicken pizza. What? Your favorite pizza is buffalo chicken pizza. You really think that? I mean, I stopped thinking that like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Happy anniversary, babe. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get her two barbecue pizzas next time. Am I really destined to the mediocre Twinkies of life? I mean, I love being creative, but sometimes it's just not easy. Then again, maybe creativity is a muscle and I don't like working out. change? You're right. I can't just sit around letting myself become a product of my own circumstances. I'm the one who needs to change. Thanks, hobo man.
being silly. I see myself being silly. Go knock yourself out. I will, but first, I have an inspirational montage to continue. Job interviews, am I right? 